So ladies and gentlemen, it's been a strange week in sports this, this week. Looks like Vladimir Guerrero of the Blue Jays could be a triple crown contender. Uh, we have uh, most of the major sports opening out uh, three quarters away uh, gone with the pandemic. Uh, looks like people are trying to get the million dollar man's uh, what they call Bach Rain from Andre the Giant recognized by the WWE and this occurred didn't see this coming for a million years I thought it would happen last year but according to published reports and from the two particulars themselves the greatest soap opera in, in Quebec history has ended they have reconciled so if you're an Anglophone from the States if you're uh, worldwide you don't know the, this let me back this up Patrick Wall was the Stanley Cup winning goaltender and the MVP for the Montreal Canadiens between the time he came in in 1986, won a cup for Montreal, up until 1995. Won a second cup in 93, lost to Calgary in 89, best goal in the league, uh, no doubt. What happened, ladies and gentlemen? Mario Trombley's head coach, his former roommate, decided to keep him in in a uh, December 1995 game against Detroit. He gave up nine goals. I think mostly uh, by the second period, and uh, Patrick Roy felt humiliated. Montreal was under new management, Rajon Hul, Serge Savard, and away uh, Trombley gave him a dirty look when he finally took him out. Patrick passed by, went to Ronald Corey, who was running the Habs at the time, saying this is my last game in Montreal. Uh, what happens? Patrick gets traded to Colorado, Montreal never won a cup since, and the franchise almost disintegrated within eight years, like as it folded. It killed the dynasty, we haven't won a cup since. The goals of the forum were murdered uh, in the, one of the last years of the forum. Last week, they got back together, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for a paid ad. Uber Eats, as a lot of people know, it's a food delivery, international food delivery company. They've uh, 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 put together celebrity endorsements, Mark Hamill versus Patrick Stewart, uh, with the famous line, oh, I am my own daddy. You know what that means. Uh, you know, Wayne's World, uh, Mike Myers, and Dana Carvey. But they did a whole set of interviews, uh, Anglophone one on TSN Canada, saying they're glad to be back together. They never met each other for 20 years. They're going to be more, they're going to be more friendly uh, in the future. They're going to hang out, have dinner, whatever. They're glad that the Uber Eats uh, approached them, which is all well and good. I'm not saying they're liars, but ladies and gentlemen, I don't forgive either one of them. Listen. Mario Trombley has always had trouble with his ego. Uh, holding back Jean Amel to get almost blinded by Lou Schlegger in the 84 brawl against the Quebec Nordiques. The way him and Peter Bahalovich didn't get along. Uh, the amount of, uh, what do you call it, bad commentating he's done over the years. He's an okay guy, but I mean, he's not, he's no, uh, he's no genius at hockey, he was just a second, third line player. He tried to intimidate Patrick Waugh. He thought he was smarter than Patrick Waugh. Patrick Waugh has his own ego. We know that. All superstars do. Mario Trombley tried to outthink him. He said, fuck you. Um, I want to be traded. Now, we could have got something for Patrick. Not as big as the Gretzky trade, but we only got a very capable goalie in Jocelyn Tebow and a couple of uh, forwards. We could have went with draft picks. There was no guarantee that Colorado was going to do anything. And as soon as we got Patrick Waugh, later got Raymond Bork, who won two cups and the rest is, you know, the rest is history. So uh, here, here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't really mean anything to the modern Montreal Canes fan, but to see them doing an ad to make fun, they're playing like tabletop hockey, making a fun of the 9-1 goal and all that, and they say they're what they're going to be eating. But <laughs> the fans, I don't know if they're going to accept that. Me, if Pat, uh, Mario Trombley would have basically said... He kind of apologized uh, two days after, but he had no idea uh, that pushing Patrick Waugh would make him leave. Patrick Waugh became bigger than the Montreal Canadiens. It's like uh, with Boom Boom Jeffrey. He quit and then he went over to the Rangers. I mean, uh, Jacques Plante was forced out of town. Pierre Turgeon was forced out of town. All these different uh, Francophone players especially were basically saying you're not bigger than the team. The only player we had to bring it all together in the 86 and technically the 87 cup run because we lost to the Flyers. 89 against Calgary losing and 93 winning was Patrick Waugh. He, he was making the big stops. He would intimidate. He'd take the whole of uh, the team on his back like Grant Shore and Annie Moog did in Edmonton. Billy Smith did for the Islanders. Uh, you know, the, the myriad of other goalies. So, 
for for uh, what do you call for acceptance sake if they have made peace with each other I'll accept that just like I had to accept that uh, Canadian flag raper Sean Michaels and Bret Hart uh, you know making up and you know doing a, a you know a video on it making some money but when that occurred ladies and gentlemen I never thought in a million years I was in my think I was in my ninth year as a paid, uh, paid journalist I never thought the Montreal Canes would ever win another, would ever win another cup I figured hey with Carey Price or somebody else they would go on a run and they've come close they had a couple of frozen four appearances but ladies and gentlemen losing Patrick Waugh because of Mary Trombley is unforgivable on, on most days. But in 2021, the NHL is not like the NHL of the 70s, 80s, 90s, where you lived your died by your team, where you knew all the players' names. Uh, TQS would show all the Nordics games. There's no more battle like Quebec. There's no more Toronto Montreal rivalry like it was before. There's no more Flyer Boston rivalry. There's no there's no Ranger rivalry against anybody else. There's no Chicago Montreal rivalry. That's gone. There's no Detroit Montreal rivalry. That's gone. There's no Toronto Philadelphia rivalry. That's gone. There's no Islander Edmonton rivalry. That's gone. So it doesn't really matter, does it? Life goes on. So all I can say is that if you can get some peace and quiet for Patrick and Mario, you know. But I don't think that was on your mind anyway. Uh, you know, Montreal Canadiens players, they know the value of a dollar. No offense. Because, uh, you know, uh, Barry Trobley ran a restaurant. There was a business interest for Patrick Waugh. But at that time, where Patrick lifted his arms in a famous uh, movement when the fans cheered that he made a save or booed that he made a save. Boys, oh boys, oh boys, oh boys, ladies and gentlemen. I'm telling you something. Uh, for all the 1970s, the only reason why Montreal lost the cup is because he lost it by themselves. Nobody defeated him. He defeated himself. By the 80 came along when Patrick Roy showed up and cleaned up all the mess for the bad uh, results from 1980 to 1985, caused, of course, by bad goaltending. Penny and Harrow and Sevigny and Wamsley and everybody else. But, you know, anyway. Big word this is Uber Eats because, uh, you know, seeing a classic commercial gets interest in the company. And we'll go from there. But all I know, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to see the value of the Patrick Wall and Mary Trombley sports cards after this came out. It probably uh, came up. But Patrick Wall said something interesting in a TSN interview. He said, I got zillions of calls on the 25th anniversary, which was last year. And uh, 2021, again, marks its... Uh, uh, it's... Uh, oh, man. 28 years since Montreal's won a cup. Can you imagine? 28 years since Gretzky and against Montreal in 93. It seems like yesterday we won, but that's that was the intensity of the hockey. In 2021, you'll never see that again. So does this close the, the book on the old vintage uh, NHL? Does it close the book on the Nordiques? Does it close the book uh, on, the, on the Montreal legacy? Uh, pretty much, because uh, Rocket is gone. Uh, you know, Jacques Plante is gone. The pocket rocket is gone. Gilford is not well. Uh, different people. Ken Dryden's getting older. You know, uh, memories are fading. And, you know, but if, if a certain pe uh, Dino Bravo was still alive, you know, he got murdered in a mafia hit. You know how much of a Montreal fan? What would Dino Bravo think about Trombley and Patrick Roy reconciling? Maybe from heaven he can let us know. But first thing came to mind was Dino Bravo. I know it's weird. He was murdered by the mafia. Got I don't know how many bullets, but he was a heavy Montreal fan. What does the pure Montreal fan think about that? If you are a pure Montreal fan and don't accept it, let me know. And uh, we'll, I'll get back to you in the comment section. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what you're doing here, we're a Vintage Unchill podcast. Let us know. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe. And if you, if, if you have time, go back to the original tape of the Patrick Roy Mario Trombley incident. Soap opera like you wouldn't believe. You think... You think Edge of Night and Leather World and all the great soaps in the 70s and 80s were bad. Check out the whole game and check what the announcer was saying about the, the showing up of uh, Mario Trombley. Anyway, so thanks for listening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, good luck to the Leafs tonight. They might, they might need it. Bye.